10 through 17, but particularly verse 10, it tells you about having done all to stand. Stand. But it, but it, it encourages us to put on the whole armor of God whereby we are able to stand. And so, so praise God. I bless you, Reverend Andre. And I apply you for a company on that selection because uh, I'm telling you, I think we all needed that in some way. Because uh, God knows how to confirm things, even if you're going through. The best thing is to stand. And God will help you get through it. Amen. So God bless you at this time. Let's bow together. Lord, we thank you for this time that you have blessed to come, O oh God, that we will stand and be thy instrument, thy vessel, in which your word now goes forth. O oh God, we pray that you will use us now for your purpose, that this word will be a blessing to each of us. Lord, we thank you now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Those that may have your Bibles, we invite you to look to the book of Deuteronomy, the 8th chapter and verse 2. And that is the fifth book of the Old Testament. Amen. As some say, it, include, it concludes the law, or this big word, the Pentateuch. Amen. But uh, the fact is, that is the fifth book of the Old Testament written by Moses. That's chapter 8, verse 2. Amen. Everybody let us uh, read that verse. And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thou God led thee these forty years in the wilderness to humble thee and to prove thee to know what was in thy heart whether thou wouldst keep his commandments or no. Amen. And for thought today we would like to talk to you from the subject he did it for my good. Amen. He did it for my good. And I do pray that at the completion of this discourse, we will understand why this subject uh, applies to this text. In these lives that we live, we have wondered, Lord, why is this happening to me? What have I done to deserve this? We who are the saints of God are trying to live the lives that the Lord wants us to live. But we find ourselves at times going through a situation that we don't seem to understand ourselves. And if I could remind you today, you don't have to do anything for something bad to happen to you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Because I think some of us have lived long enough and have tried to live the life that God has set forth. But yet there's still some bad things that happen in our lives. Jesus himself has said, he made it for his son to rise on the evil and the good. And he said, rain on the just and on the unjust. Now this concern that we present today is an age-old concern. That every generation of saints have had to wonder, Lord, why am I going through? Anybody ever thought about that today? Why me? Why me, Lord? And, and so the Lord can do, if you hear me today, whatever he wants, and he can allow whatever he chooses. And the truth about him is, he knows what he is doing. You think about it, I, I have not seen what God has made a mistake in doing anything because we declare that what he do with all things well. And so the truth about him is, he certainly knows what he's doing, but the text is proof that God will explain his reason for the test or trial that you are going through. Now, it is just like God to take us through, to teach us that we can trust him. 
Because Moses, who is the speaker in this text, is before the children of Israel, and he stands before them telling them God's purpose for them wandering in the wilderness for 40 years. Now, some may suggest it was because of their disobedience to God or their constant desire to take us back to Egypt. But I have news today, brothers and sisters, that God had an ultimate purpose. Because I say to you today, it is better to let the Almighty do whatever He has designed for your life. Because if it means going through a trial or being tested, you can say like Job, that he knoweth the way that I take. And when he has tried me, I shall come forth as gold. Now, it is good when the Lord explains the reasons for why you had to go through this. Because have you ever wondered, Lord, why am I in the midst of this pain, this, this storm, this tribulation? What are you trying to say to me? Because one thing I will say is that you are much, much better coming out than when you went in. And, and I dare anybody to examine that because when you went in your problem, you went in a little weak. You, you went in being tore down. You being troubled and so forth. But when you came out, that's when God proved you, to you that that was for your good. Because whatever God does, my friends, he is doing it for our good. Because the truth about Israel's 40 years of wandering was a time of testing and a time of discipline. It was to discover what their real motives were. And, and guess what? God will sometimes test us to see why are we really following him? Are you just showing up to church because it's a habit? Are you just believing in God because you just got something coming from him? Amen. God will take you through something to see what your true motive is dealing with him. Because the trials you face, my friends, were designed to get you to trust God more. You think about it because anytime God tries or tests us, there's something he wants to accomplish in you. And, and you may not hear that today, but he wants to get something accomplished in what you've been through. Because at the time of our go through, it doesn't seem like God uh, is, is putting us through a test. And, and if anybody real today about it, you tell me yes. It don't seem like God is testing me. It, it seems like God has abandoned me. Yeah. It seems like he don't care, but God puts you through this to let you understand that he's going to do something for your good. Yeah. Because when you give, it's some thought God didn't approach you and, and listen to this carefully and say to you that I'm getting you ready to put you through a great trial. God, I, I don't think nobody God has spoken to and told you that you better get ready. I got something planned for you to go through. But 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 I'm glad, brothers and sisters, that when we think on these things, because all you discover is that something strange is going on in your life. Yeah. That's all you can pin it on. With. Lord, something is happening to me, and and I wonder, do you know what I'm going through? But I'm glad Peter said in his writing, he says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you, but rejoice, because the trials we face are just to produce something, some spiritual maturity. And brothers and sisters, if we ever expect to grow spiritually, we got to do those things that are required for us to grow because it's no need of us staying spiritually the same way we was when we came to Christ. That's why God will allow some unforeseen things to come in your life to get your attention and then guess what? Redirect your focus back on God. Because if you know it, brothers and sisters, that these things were designed to destroy you. But, but that means they are going to help us grow 
And know, if you can, that every trial is not always from God. Amen. Amen. Because I better say that because somebody may be trying to declare that this is the Lord's doom. But I got to let you know there are some trials from the devil himself. Oh, yes. And, and, and I better say this. You better know the difference. Uh, whose hand is responsible for your ordeal. Now listen, if Job could have knew it was the devil who was behind his dilemma, he would may not have ever said, though he slay me. Yeah. yeah, well, I trust him. Though he slay me meant that he was trusting God. Yeah. Amen. But, but, but I'm glad that our times, God don't want us to recognize that it's always the enemy who's afflicting us. Yeah. There's some things you got to realize that God will allow. But let me also go here now. There are some self-induced trials. And if you don't hear me right now, they are the result of our disobedience to God. Now somebody probably didn't know that you can bring something on yourself. Amen. I'm, I'm sure you did. But, but it's good to hear about it. Ain't it? Now there are some things we bring on ourselves. But when it happens, guess what? We still want to blame somebody. That's why sometimes the devil is the good tool to blame, right? To say that what the devil made me do. But I beg the devil, the devil ain't made us do anything. We acted up, what, on our own temptations. And, and, and so brothers and sisters, you got to realize whose hand is responsible for this trial. And so, therefore, brothers and sisters, the only reason the devil is going about, he's trying to seek whom he can devour and destroy. But guess what? He got to get God's permission when it comes to his own. But in this text, what Israel was going through was a God-ordained trial. And no matter, brothers and sisters, when you look at it, see if God is putting you to a test. Because, listen, the Almighty was disciplining and testing his people. And it was not, amen, to get them ready, amen, for the next phase of their lives. But it was now to let them understand that God was putting them through this. So they could understand it was God doing it for their good. Because I don't care what you say, that the only time we can have a true testimony is when we've been through something. Amen. I don't care what you say. You can't just make up a testimony. You can test the lie, but, but brother and sister, you got to understand a true testimony comes as a result of you being through something. And aren't you glad in this text today that God at times got to take us through some things that we don't want to go through. But you better recognize it's his hand involved in it. And, and there were three things that the text indicated to us. That first of all, God was humbling his people. Yeah. It's right there in verse 2 because he says to humble you. And God at times needs to strip us of our pride yeah. to make us humble. Yeah. Now see, if you're one of those proud Christians... God may have to strip you and make you humble enough to understand that you still got to trust him. And my brothers and sisters, whoever you are today, whatever you're going through, God told me to tell you that I'm doing it for your good. Because you don't see what I'm trying to do in it, but I'm trying to show you that if you stay with me, then I'm going to bring you out of this. And so Moses indicated that thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God has led thee these 40 years. But can I let that hit home? We need to remember. Amen. How God has led us all these number of years. And know it was him who was there. But I'm glad that he had to first of all humble his people. But then secondly he says he was testing them. And, and that's where in the text you see and to prove thee. Because God at times got to see what our faith is. Yes. Amen. Because if you call up Abraham, Abraham will tell you that God came at a time of my life. Yes. When I was blessed with, with a son. Yes. 
But God came along and tried me and said, give that son back to me. Sacrifice him. And, and there are times God will prove you just to let you see if you're going to do what he says. Yeah. And I wonder in the house today, is anybody in that area that if he proves you, you're going to do what he says? Yeah. You're going to be found to be able to take and stand your testing. Yeah. Because what is all saying in the end result that God is doing it for my good. Yeah. But now that third thing that we see is that he was also searching them out. Yeah. Because what God wanted to find out is to know what was in their heart. Yeah. And brothers and sisters, there are times God needs to know what's on your mind. Yeah. What's in your heart? What's your true intentions? Yeah. Are you going to do what I have said? And, and aren't you glad, brothers and sisters, in the text today that the divine was getting them right? Yeah. Somebody said that it shouldn't have took 40 years for them to finally make it to the other side. Yeah. Some say it only would have been an 11-day journey. But it amounted to 40 years of wandering in the wilderness. Well. And some may say that, well, it was because of them many times griping and complaining. Yeah. Amen. Criticizing Moses and being disobedient to God. But in the text, you see that God had an ultimate purpose. Yeah. And if I can speak to somebody today, God has an ultimate purpose yeah. for your dilemma. Yeah. For your trial that you are in the midst of. God wants to prove some things that he's going to humble you and he's going to prove you and then he's going to see what's in your heart. Okay. Amen. Whether you are going to keep his commandments or no. But aren't you glad Moses made it that simple? Yes. Just like we want to make it simple today yes. that God wants to take you through yes. just to grow you up. Yes. He wants to take you through to get you right in his sight. Yeah. And there are times that trials will come. But I have news for you, trials are really to make you stronger. Right. Because the divine, he never brings a trial in your life to defeat you. Anybody ever heard that God is going to set you up to make you fail? But God purposely take you through yeah. to let you see what I can do with you. Right. But his designs are amen always for your good. Yeah. I don't know about you as I continue personally on this journey. Yeah. I'm learning that through my go through on, yeah. it's helping me to know he promised never to leave yeah. Yeah. nor forsake me. Yeah. I don't know about you today but I praise yeah. God yeah, yeah. That he did it for my good. Yeah. Because I know that when it's all said and done, that my ladder will be great. Yeah. If you don't believe me, it's right down there in the text. Yeah. Amen. Right there at verse 16. Because he says, Who fed thee in the wilderness with manna, yeah. which thy fathers knew not, yeah. that again that he might humble thee. Oh, yeah. That he might prove thee. Yeah. And that he, that thy good may be at thy latter end. Yeah. And I'm seeing that when God takes us through a situation, on, God is doing it for our good. Yeah. And somebody ought to rejoice today that God wants to do it for your good. Because yeah. if you don't know, God knows what's best for you. Yeah. And God knows how to let it work for you do. Oh, yeah. I know in the midst of going through, yeah. we don't see God's hand in the situation. Oh, yeah. But I assure you that God is right there yeah. being that unseen presence, yeah. that unseen help that's yeah. letting you yeah. get through this. Yeah. Because I know sometimes being in the midst of sorrow and pain, yeah. it seems like it's going to never let up. Yeah. Seems like it's going to never come to an end. Uh, yeah. But I got news for somebody. Uh, God won't let trouble last too long. Yeah. And I know in the midst of being in trouble, uh, yeah. it seems like it's going to never come to an end. Uh, yeah. 
But I want to let you know if you trust him long enough, uh, if you stay with the one who is able, uh, you'll find out that God is going to get you uh, through this thing. God, all he wants you to learn from the result of it is this, that I'm doing it for your good. Uh, you don't know why I'm taking you through. Why? Why I'm testing you. Why? Why I'm humbling you. Why? Why I want to see what's in you. Why? But I'm doing it because I know why. the end result. Why? That when it's all said and done. Why? You can say without a doubt. Why? That he did it for my good. Why? He had to strip me down. Why? In order to get me right. Why? He had to take me through. Why? In order for me to do what he wants. Uh, and I don't know about you. Uh, there are times God challenges us uh, where we are uh, in the midst of how we live. Uh, he wants us to understand uh, that I'm taking you through this uh, so that you can know who I am. Uh, know the power I possess. Uh, know why I'm taking you through the storm. Uh, that when you go through the storm, uh, I'm not going to let the storm uh, overcome you. Uh, but you're going to really Realize ah, the God that I am. Ah, oh, yeah. That you to learn how to trust me ah, yeah. in the midst of your go through. Yeah. Ah. Sometimes uh, we don't want to talk about uh, in the middle of the storm, uh, but I have news for somebody. Uh, there's a blessing uh, in the middle of the storm. Uh, you might not see it right now, uh, but if you trust God, uh, not just at the storm, uh, not just praise Him uh, when it's all over, uh, but look in the middle uh, of what God's doing. Uh, how about Jesus uh, with His own disciples? Uh, got all upset uh, because we are in the midst of a storm. Uh, where was Jesus? Uh, down in the hinder part uh, of the ship. Uh, safe asleep. Uh, I have news for you. Uh, you going through, uh, but you're not by yourself. Because uh, the Lord uh, is right there. Uh, so what do they do? Uh, somebody say, uh, go wake up Jesus. Uh, we're in trouble. Uh, and I got to tell somebody uh, sometime uh, in the middle of your situation, uh, you will call on Jesus. Uh, you will get in trouble. Uh, you will tell somebody, uh, I got to go call on the Lord. Uh, I have news for you. Uh, when you call on him, uh, he will uh, show up. Uh, he will uh, talk to the storm. Uh, he will tell the storm, uh, peace, uh, be still. Uh, but what I learned, uh, about the whole dramatics uh, of what we went through uh, is that God uh, is doing it for my good. Uh, I don't know about you. Uh, when I examine uh, some of the things uh, that God has let me go through, uh, when I have looked back uh, and wondered, Lord, why uh, is it happening to me? Uh, the Lord told me uh, I was getting you right. Uh, I was fixing you up. Uh, I was making you strong. Uh, and when it's all said and done, uh, it'll be for your good. Uh, I don't know about you. Uh, I'm going to keep trusting God, uh, knowing that the God I serve uh, is able. Uh, he cares uh, what we're going through. Uh, don't let nobody fool you. Uh, God cares uh, about your sorrow. Uh, God cares uh, about your sickness. Uh, God cares uh, about your pain. Uh, God cares uh, about your trouble. Uh, but here's the challenge. Uh, how much uh, will you trust him uh, in the middle of it? Uh, I don't know about you, uh, but I got to stay there. Uh, there's something uh, about being in the middle uh, that people don't want to talk about. Uh, that the theologians uh, can't explain. Uh, but what I learned uh, that in the middle, uh, I can still uh, praise the Lord. Uh, I can still uh, look to him uh, for all my help. Uh, brothers and sisters, uh, think about it today. Uh, when you get in the middle uh, of your situation, uh, when you get in the middle uh, of your dilemma, uh, you need to recognize, uh, is God there? <laughs> is God uh, helping me? Uh, I have news for you. Uh, he is uh, being right there. Uh, he's the one uh, that keeps you uh, from falling. Uh, he's the one uh, that keeps you 
blocked from losing your mind. He's the one that keeps your faith up. so sure. You're forsaken all life. I trust him. My brothers and my sisters, when it's all said and done, when I get at the end of my whole crew, I have a testimony. I had to tell somebody what I've been through. It was for my good. Cause I'm right with Paul. Paul declared for all things. Have a battle with it. So work together for the good of them that love God. Anybody here love the Lord? Don't fool me right now. Anybody here love the Lord? If you love him, he will let your back work for your good. Your sorrow be a blessing. If you trust God, God will let it be for your good. What I do, I know what I tried him. Anybody tried him? Anybody found out? Ain't nobody do you like Jesus. Ain't nobody turn around like Jesus can. Ain't nobody lift you up, turn you around. Your feet on solid ground. Ain't nobody do it like my Savior. Do you know him? Jesus, I am a God. Jesus, I put some pizza. Jesus, let the other battle. Jesus, write him on the star. I'm glad I got somebody I can call on when things get hard, when trouble get great. get the good and the best out of you. So thank God that Jesus did that also. You know the story. He died. But he rose again. And guess what? He's alive. And because he lives, we can also face our tomorrow. He gives us hope because he lives. And so therefore, brothers and sisters, think on the text today. God did it for my good. That's personal. I don't know what he did for you. 
But all I can speak is for Adams and why he had to take me through such and such. But I'm still here. That's the thing about it. You got to realize that if God take you through it, he's going to let you still be here. It ain't going to kill you like you think it is. But he's doing it to make you better. And anybody here want to get better? Anybody want to be better? Anybody want God to just have his way? Because I do remind you that he's still a power. And we are still the clay. And we ought to tell the Lord to mold us and shape us after your will. Amen. God bless you. At this time, we're going to extend the invitation. We never know who might be here today.